basically since the very first time I played the Hunter Call of the Wild. I heard a lot of people talk about how they hoped that fishing at one point would come to this game. I was never one of those people because I had an idea that if we were to introduce fishing to this game, it would mess around with the hunting or it would be on the expense of some of the hunting. But today, Expansive Worlds has actually released a uh, trailer for an upcoming game and it is going to be a standalone fishing game. Let's take a quick look at that trailer and um, let's talk what kind of um, improvements that's probably going to actually lead into Call of the Wild as well after this. What is it about your hobby that keeps you coming all the way out here? Is it the freedom? Wandering in search of that perfect spot. You've made your own path through these hills. Tasted the fresh water of our lakes, our rivers. You've been on the water with friends at sunrise and helped the locals long past sunset. But you just keep coming back. At this spot, you got a pretty good idea what's lurking beneath the surface. But there's only one way to find out. Whether it's the one you write home about or the one that gets away, that feeling is what gets you up. That whether it's your first time or your hundredth time, you never know what you're gonna catch until it's caught. Call of the Wild, the angler. Pretty safe to say that it looks very much like what we know from Call of the Wild. And I am actually very hyped about this. First of all, being a standalone game, yes, obviously I'm going to play it. I have played Fishing Planet and such back in the days as well. I even have Fishing Planet videos on this very channel. Some of the things that really does make sense to me is simply the things that they can use in both games. I think there is a very clear connection between the updates that we're going to get to the graphics of the uh, screen reflection or whatever they called it on the uh, water that they have been talking so much about on the streams from the hunter call of the wild where the water simply just has gotten a graphical update that has probably been developed for the angler at least that is what i think and it would make sense same thing is we can see boats in the trailer does this mean that eventually we're going to be able to get the boats that we want in the hunter call of the wild and updating the third person graphic things that they have also done for the Revantuli um, update that is coming out here soon it is all something that does make sense to have in the angler simply because if you're casting your fishing rod then you need a lot more motion going on than raising your gun from having it at a hip fire position up to your eye you need a lot more motion when you're doing the cast with a fishing rod so I think that has maybe also been developed through the intention of the angler and then been uh, put into the hunter call of the wild afterwards it does make sense at least in my mind that uh, we're gonna have a lot of symbiosis going on between the two games but i am very happy it is a standalone game because i don't think adding all the new mechanics that is going to be a thing with all the fishing and such would be a wise idea to do to the hunter i i mean we might end up seeing fly fishing get a completely new term then we had flying mouflon and ibex back in the days or potato wolves so all in all, I don't see how this is going to be a bad thing, as long as it's a completely different team that is not going to take it much away from the Hunter team, and they're still going to continue working on that, then I think we're in for a treat here, and it's going to be a great symbiosis where both games definitely can benefit from each other. So... 
I have not played a lot of fishing games in the past. It's going to be interesting to see how it's going to uh, pan out. If it's going to be like the fishing planet way where you can compare leaderboards or if it's just going to be more like the Hunter Call of the Wild where you will be able to place your trophies in a lodge. I definitely hope it's going to be very competition based and that you are going to be able to have some leaderboards, maybe a season going on like from the hunter classic or anything like that but let me know in the comments down below what you think are you excited about this or is this just gonna be yeah hard pass from me thank you